A few weeks ago, I stood in Sedona, Arizona, delighted to tell you about the Sigma 40mm f1.4 art lens. I'm still delighted. <laughs> Raymond and I actually have five or six lenses borrowed right now from a few different manufacturers, and we love them all, but this Sigma 40 millimeters has been the one that I have wanted to use the most. Why? That's a good question. Part of it is personal preference and my photographic mood lately. You might say, Snapchat, that prime lens is huge. It's too big and it doesn't even zoom. When you zoom, you are wasting the picture, which means you are wasting your time, the time of the people around you, and my time. And it's true. This fixed focal length 40 millimeter lens is bigger than many mid-range zooms, and it's heavy. It is not dainty, and it is not petite. <laughs> it makes a statement in its size, but also in its performance. And for me, a 40 millimeter f1.4 lens is just different from anything else that I typically shoot with, so it's fun. Sigma's philosophy with this lens and their other art lenses is that the quality of the image comes first and the form of the lens gets built around that concept. If it needs to be larger to deliver the utmost quality at this focal length, then they will make it larger. If you want compact, Sigma does have other lines of lenses that may fit the bill for you better than the art series. Let's take a close look at this lens itself, end to end. It has a very robust lens hood that physically locks into place and you use a switch to release it. And it's a quality lens cap. The filter diameter is 82 millimeters. Now this lens does have autofocus, but the focus ring is an important feature for those times that you want to fine tune or go fully manual. It is huge and it takes some effort to turn. For an f1.4 lens where I might be using a very shallow depth of field, that is exactly what I want. It lets you grab hold and make precise adjustments. Also, the effort it requires to rotate allows you to use the focus zoom feature on your camera and not be overcorrecting or wobbling the focus area. Precision is the word here. There's one simple switch on the side to toggle between autofocus and manual focus. That's it. It is a simple design which gives it a certain elegance and utility. I am using the version of this lens for Sony E-mount, but you can also get it in the Sigma mount, Nikon's F mount, Canon's EF mount, and Leica's L mount. And here's a fun fact. If you switch systems, Sigma, as a paid service, can switch the mount on your lens from your old system to your new system. And that service includes this lens. And that, my friends, is flexibility and friendliness all in one. Kudos to Sigma for offering that. I have heard from so many viewers that they want to switch systems, but it's their collection of lenses that holds them back. And this service definitely could help with that. Like I said, I borrowed the Sony E-mount version, so we used it on our Sony Alpha 7 R4, and we were able to put the resolution and image quality to the ultimate test. This is a Pixel Peeper's dream setup. Now, we could not escape comparing this, at least in principle, to Nikon's recent release of the F0.95 Noct lens for the Z series. Now, this is not the Noct in a few ways. For one, this is an F-mount lens when purchased for a Nikon camera. And the Noct does open up to a wider aperture with the F0.95 for the Nikon as opposed to the F1.4 for the Sigma. However, the Sigma does have autofocus while the Noct does not. The Sigma is available for more camera brands than just Nikon. The Sigma is much less expensive. And they both seem to produce images with larger than life cinematic quality. For the Sigma, that is no accident. They have used their DNA from their Cine lenses in the design and construction of this 40 millimeter. We read that claim and Raymond and I didn't want to leave that aspect untested. So this lens went to Sedona. It went to the museum. It went to another museum, it went to other places, it went in the mud. <laughs> One thing we associate with this lens's rendering is it creates a certain magic from light sources, and so we put that to the test. The Sony body gives us much flexibility in the editing process, while the lens got us the source material that we needed to really put together the images that we wanted. This lens was borrowed, and Raymond and I are sad to see it go. As I mentioned, it is a whole lot of lens, so if you're considering it, keep that in mind. The thing is, though, once you use it, 
you might enjoy the portability of your other prime lenses, but in the back of your mind, you might always find yourself thinking, hey, bring that big 40 millimeter, get that image quality, worry about that smaller setup some other time. This is an HSM lens, which means that the focusing is very quiet. It's not silent, however. We did use Sony's latest on-camera microphone in that Sedona video, and there was subtle focusing noise in the background. It certainly was not highly objectionable, and with Raymond's and my relatively amateur audio processing skills in Audacity, we were able to virtually eliminate it. If you were to use this for video while autofocusing, that is something to consider. Now, if you lean on lavalier microphones or other off-camera audio, you won't hear the lens at all. In short, this lens ranks right up there with our 24 millimeter G Master Sony lens, Leica lenses, and other Sigma art lenses that we've reviewed. It's a beast for sure, but if 40 millimeters is your thing and you want the utmost quality from that focal length, irrespective of form factor and weight, this lens is formidable. We did just purchase this Leica Q2, so we ourselves are not back in a shopping mode quite yet, but if we were, it would be just a little bit more painful to send this lens back to Sigma. If you do have questions about this lens or have used one of the other Sigma art lenses that you like, let us know down in the comments. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining, give it a like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when I post new videos like the reviews of the other lenses that I currently have. And thank you for watching.